Will the United States eventually embrace the yuan as a trade currency? While it may appear implausible, this is the direction the world is heading toward. The dollar is increasingly losing its dominance, and Chinese exporters are taking advantage of this transition, amassing $500 billion. This trend has the potential to drastically alter the global trade currency landscape, putting the yuan in a dominant position. Will this be enough for China to completely replace the dollar with the yuan? Let us find out. The global economic landscape is experiencing a seismic transformation, which the West is either unable or unwilling to recognize. For decades, the U.S. dollar has reigned supreme as the world's reserve currency, backed by the U.S.'s economic and military supremacy. However, in 2024, a new rival emerged, the Chinese Yuan, which has the potential to alter global trade and finance norms. Behind this perspective shift is the BRICS coalition, which is trying to end the U.S. dollar's long-standing supremacy. China's position in this movement is crucial. In 2024, Chinese exporters generated a record $500 billion trade surplus. While most of the world has been preoccupied with short-term economic changes, this stockpile is a ticking time bomb for the U.S. currency. If China chooses to convert this surplus into yuan, the resulting ripple effects might shift the balance of power in global financial markets, endangering the very foundations of the Western economic order. But how did Chinese exporters manage to accumulate an extraordinary $500 billion trade surplus? And why should it matter? The answer is found in China's long-term plan, which has been developed over many years. China, as a prominent member of the BRICS, has been rapidly establishing economic partnerships around the world, particularly with developing countries. While the West has been willing to rely on antiquated economic models, China has been busy developing new trade agreements that benefit not only itself but also its partners. For many developing countries, these collaborations have provided an alternative to the exploitative and frequently hypocritical tactics of Western institutions such as the IMF and World Bank. This large trade surplus was not created out of thin air. It is the outcome of China's ability to dominate manufacturing and exports, which has only increased with the advent of the BRICS. For years, China has exported goods in return for foreign currencies, most notably the U.S. dollar. But this is where it gets fascinating. Instead of quickly changing those dollars into yuan, China has been hoarding them, patiently waiting for the proper time to shift the economic balance of power. And why wouldn't China wait? The U.S. dollar has long been the backbone of international trade, but its dominance is founded on a delusion, one that China is now poised to demolish. The $500 billion stockpile is more than simply money, it's economic leverage. Leverage can be used to destabilize global markets in ways that the West did not anticipate. If China transforms its excess into yuan, the consequences will be felt around the world. The yuan's value would rise, increasing China's economic dominance, while the U.S. currency would confront unprecedented challenges. Developing nations, already tired of U.S. economic supremacy, would soon follow suit choosing to interact in yuan rather than dollars. And that is the key here. China is trying not only to strengthen its currency, but also to provide the world with a viable alternative to the dollar. What will happen if China decides to convert its $500 billion stockpile into yuan? Here's a reminder to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on global geopolitics, the economy, and the shifting landscape. Let us proceed now. The ramifications are huge. By changing its excess into WAN, China would be sending a strong signal. The days of the US dollar's undisputed dominance are over. In the immediate aftermath, the yuan's value is likely to rise, while the US dollar will fall. However, the bigger consequences extend far beyond a mere currency exchange. For starters, China's move is likely to spur other BRICS states to follow similar. 
Countries such as Russia and South Africa have long sought ways to minimize their reliance on the United States dollar. A stronger yuan would provide them with the ideal opportunity to transition away from dollar-based transactions, establishing BRICS as a viable alternative to the Western-dominated financial system. This would be a nightmarish scenario for the U.S., since it would significantly lower worldwide demand for dollars, eroding its position in international markets. But that's only the beginning. If developing countries, notably those in Africa, Latin America, and Southeast Asia, started to prefer the yuan to the dollar for trade, the U.S. economy could suffer greatly. Hyperinflation, increasing everyday needs prices, and a faltering economy are all likely outcomes. The dollar's value, long supported by its standing as the world's currency, would drop as demand for it fell. And, let's be clear, the United States is not prepared to deal with such an economic shock. China's choice to convert its surplus into yuan would also be interpreted as a warning shot to the West. For too long, Western nations have assumed that the globe will always require the dollar. However, such an assumption is no longer valid. The world is changing, and the BRICS are leading the way. Is the US dollar prepared for a direct challenge from the UN, or is its worldwide supremacy under threat? The U.S. dollar has long been seen as the foundation of the global economy, but this notion is increasingly out of sync with reality. For decades, the dollar has benefited from its status as the world's reserve currency, allowing the U.S. to wield great power in global trade and banking. However, the fractures in this structure are beginning to show. Consider the DXY index, which measures the dollar's value against a basket of foreign currencies. Recently, the index fell to 100.80, indicating that the dollar's power is diminishing. While the dollar briefly rallied, hovering slightly around 101, the worldwide appetite for dollars is declining. Why wouldn't it be? The BRICS nations, led by China, are presenting an alternative that is free of the political and economic constraints that the U.S. dollar imposes. However, the true issue goes deeper than merely numbers on an index. For far too long, the United States relied on the dollar's dominance to sustain its global power. As BRICS grows, the United States realizes that it can no longer rely on conventional strategies like sanctions, trade restrictions, and military involvement to maintain its economic dominance. The world is changing, and the dollar is widely regarded as a relic of a past period. Can the U.S. dollar withstand an assault from the yuan? Perhaps in the short term, but in the long run, it appears like the United States is on borrowed time. The BRICS coalition has already demonstrated that it is willing to challenge the status quo, and as more countries unite with China's vision of a multipolar world, the dollar's dominance will fade. And what happens if the yuan replaces the dollar as the world's primary currency? A yuan-dominated world would be very different from the current U.S.-centric global order. First and foremost, it would signal the end of the West's monopoly on global trade. The BRICS nations, led by China, would emerge as the new economic powerhouses, dictating the standards for international transactions and trade agreements. With this transformation would come a new balance of power, in which developing countries would no longer be forced to submit to the West's economic dictates. For emerging countries, a world controlled by the UN has numerous prospects. Countries in Africa, Latin America, and Asia would be able to negotiate more favorable trade agreements if they were not bound by the U.S. currency. They would no longer be vulnerable to the whims of Western financial institutions and sanctions, which have long served as an instrument of Western economic coercion, would be rendered ineffective. However, it is not only about economic freedom. A UN-dominated world would also result in political shifts. Nations that had previously relied on the United States for financial and military help would start to look elsewhere. China, with its expanding economic might and prominence in BRYCS, 
would be the natural pick. As the UN gains significance, China's political weight grows, resulting in the formation of new global alliances capable of challenging the West on several fronts. The United States, meanwhile, would become increasingly isolated. Without the leverage supplied by the dollar, the United States would struggle to maintain its influence in international affairs. Military strength may still be important, but as history has proven, economic power is the fundamental driver of global dominance. In a UN-dominated world, that power would no longer be based in Washington. The question now is what the West will do in reaction to the UN's growth and whether it can adjust to a changing global order. The West, notably the United States, is not recognized for gently tolerating challenges to its dominance. For the time being, the United States appears content to stick to obsolete policies, economic sanctions, trade restrictions, and military action, all while believing that the world still requires the dollar to work. However, when more countries, particularly BRICS members, begin to transact in the yuan and other local currencies, these outdated techniques will become increasingly ineffective. The West can attempt to counteract this transition, but fighting a rising tide is rarely effective. One option for the West is to double down on its existing strategy, increasing trade conflicts and implementing harsher sanctions on countries that abandon the dollar. However, this would probably backfire. Countries that feel besieged by Western economic aggressiveness may unite even more closely with China and the BRICS, seeking refuge from a global system that no longer favors them. In the end, such approaches would only accelerate the collapse of Western influence. Alternatively, the West could attempt to adjust to the new economic realities. Rather than opposing BRICS and the UN's growth, the U.S. and its allies may seek to work together in this emerging multipolar world. That could entail accepting that the dollar will no longer be the global reserve currency, which is a difficult pill for the U.S. to swallow. But if the West wants to remain relevant in a world increasingly dominated by BRICS and China, adaptability is no longer an option. It is a requirement. Instead of relying on the dollar's dominance, the United States might invest in improving its domestic economy. With an emphasis on innovation and competitiveness, it might establish new, mutually advantageous commercial partnerships with the BRICS countries, recognizing the UN as a valid currency for international commerce. This would necessitate humility and vision, two qualities that have been conspicuously absent in U.S. foreign policy for decades. However, if the West intends to live in a UN-dominated world, it may have no other option. Is it time for the United States to confront the unpleasant truth? Can ignoring the dollar's declining supremacy prevent it from falling further? Let us know in the comments section. Do you believe the U.S. will one day use the UN as a trade currency? Would you like to see more videos like this one? If so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it.